Hi, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, we are going to learn Class 11 Mathematics, Chapter 16 Probability, in that axiomatic approach to probability. Here, axioms means rules. So, to solve probability problems, we have certain rules. Based on those rules, we can easily solve the probability problems. Here, before understanding the rules, we already know that probability means the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. It is the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes and total number of outcomes. So, this probability value can be in between 0 to 1. If you consider any random experiment, in that random experiment, we can have the sample space. And based on the sample space, we can have certain events. So, the probability value of the event is in between 0 to 1. The probability value cannot be a negative number. Similarly, the probability value of the event cannot be greater than 1. It is equal to 1 or it is equal to 0 or the value is in between 0 to 1. This is the first rule we have related to probability. So, here it is given 0 less than or equal to probability of omega i less than or equal to 1. For each omega i belongs to s. Here omega means the outcome of the experiment. Omega i means we are referring the many outcomes. So, the collection of outcomes forms the event. So, we can say here the probability of the event is in between 0 to 1. After understanding these rules, we will consider some example to understand this. Next, let us consider the second rule where here we have S is equal to the sample space is equal to omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, so on up to omega n. These are the outcomes of the experiment. Now, here the probability value of the sample space is always is equal to 1. If you consider any experiment, let us say that the experiment is of rolling a die or tossing a coin twice. In these experiment or if you consider any random experiment, the probability of the sample space is always is equal to 1. And that we can get by adding the probability of the outcomes. That is, in this case, see we have taken the sample space with these outcomes. So, the probability of this we can write probability of omega 1 plus probability of omega 2 plus probability of omega 3 plus so on up to probability of omega n and this is equal to 1. If you add the probability of the outcome of the sample space then you get the answer as 1. So, from the second rule we can say the probability of the sample space is equal to 1 and that we can get by adding the probability value of the outcomes. Then we have the third rule. For any event A, probability of A is equal to sigma probability of omega i for all omega i belongs to A. See here this rule is related to the event. Now let us say that we have an event A with these four outcomes. Now to define the probability of this event, we can add the probability of the outcomes of this event. That is, probability of A we can write like this way. Probability of omega 1 plus probability of omega 2 plus probability of omega 3 plus probability of omega 4. So, this by this way we can find the probability of the event. That is, by adding the probability value of the outcome. So, these are the three rules we can follow while solving the probability problems. Now, let us understand this rule in detail by considering some of the example. 
See, we have the first rule where the first rule says that the probability of the event is in between 0 to 1. It cannot be negative and it cannot be greater than 1. So now here I have taken a, an experiment of rolling a die. The die consists of 6 faces. Based on that we can have here 6 outcomes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is the sample space of this experiment. Now here let us consider two events. The event one is getting even number. So here we have three even numbers 2, 4, 6. So for this event we can have the value as a is equal to 2, 4, 6. Now let us find the probability of this a. See to find the probability we have the formula number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. In this experiment we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total outcomes are 6. Then for this event we have the outcome 3. So number of favorable outcome that is 3 for related to this event divided by total number of outcomes that is 6. So here we get 1 by 2 for this event. Similarly, see getting number greater than 6. Getting number greater than 6. In this case, for this event, we don't have any outcome because in this experiment, we have the values only up to 6. So, B is equal to here null set we get. So, probability of B, we can write here. Here we have 0 outcome. So, 0 divided by 6 total number of outcome that is is equal to 0. So you can observe in these uh, two events, here we have event 1 and event uh, second event that is event 2. The value is half year which is 0 0.5 which is in between 0 to 1 and here we got the value 0 which is not a negative number or it is not greater than 1. So from this we can say that the probability of the event is always in between the value lies between 0 to 1. It may be equal to 0 or it may be equal to 1 but it cannot be a negative number and it cannot be greater than 1. Next let us see the second example and uh, by using this example we will understand the second rule. The second rule says the probability of the sample space is equal to 1 and that we can get by adding the probability value of the outcomes that is probability of omega 1 plus probability of omega 2 so on up to like this way. So here I have taken uh, an experiment of tossing a coin twice. For this experiment we can have uh, four uh, outcomes so the sample space of the experiment is HH, HT, TH, TT. Now for this let us find the probability of each outcome. See probability of here HH is nothing but the occurrence, the chance of occurrence of this particular outcome is 1. So number of favorable outcome is 1 divided by here we have total outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4. So probability of HH is 1 by 4. Similarly probability of HT is 1 by 4. Probability of TH is also 1 by 4 and probability of TT is 1 by 4. Now let us verify this rule. So probability of S is the sum of the probabilities of the outcome. So here we have 4 outcomes. So probability of S here we can write like this way. Probability of HH plus probability of HT plus probability of TH plus probability of TT. That is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. So here we get 4 by 4 which is equal to 1. So here we got the probability of sample space as 1. Similarly, if I consider rolling a die experiment, here we have the sample space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 outcomes we have. So to this, if I apply the second rule, then we can write this as the probability of S, we can write the sum of the probabilities of the outcome. That is P of S is equal to P of 1 plus P of 2 plus P of 3. That is probability of 3 plus probability of 4 plus probability of 5 plus probability of 6. See here, if you try to find the probability of each outcome, probability of 1, chance of occurring 1 is only 1. So 1 divided by totally, here we have 6 outcomes. So 1 by 6. 
Similarly, chance of occurring of 2 is only 1. So, 1 divided by 6. For this, 1 divided by 6, 1 by 6. So, if I add all these things, then I get here 6 by 6, which is equal to 1. So, here also, probability of S, we got 1. Similarly, for this experiment also, we got the probability of the sample space as 1. So, from that, we can conclude that if you consider any random experiment and if you find the probability of the sample space, then that probability of the sample space is always is equal to 1. And that we can get by adding the probability value of the outcome like this way. Next, let us consider one more example. From that, we can understand the third rule. So, here we have third rule. The third rule is related to the event. We can find the probability of the event by adding the outcome of that event, by adding the probability value of the outcome of that event. That is P of A, probability of A is equal to sigma, probability of omega i. Here omega i is nothing but the outcome, different outcomes of the event. So, you have taken the same experiment of rolling a die. In this case, we have six outcome. Now, let us consider one event, getting odd number. Getting odd number, here we have three possibilities, 1, 3, say, 1, 3, 5. So, A is equal to 1, 3, 5. Now, let us say that I want to find the probability of this event A. So, probability of event A is nothing but the sum of the probability of the outcome of that event. So, in this event, we have three outcomes. So, that probability of A we can write now as probability of 1 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 5. Now see, the chance of occurring 1 is only once. So, 1 divided by totally here we have 6 outcomes, 1 by 6. Similarly, the probability of 3 is nothing but 1 by 6 only. The chance of occurring of 3 is only once, 1 by 6. Similarly, for 5 also we get 1 by 6. I have taken here 6 because here we have 6 outcome and here I have taken 1 because each time if you consider any outcome, the chance of occurring of that outcome is only once. So, if I add all these values, 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6, I get the answer 3 by 6, which is equal to half. So, this is the probability of the event A. See, the probability of the any event we can find by adding the probability value of the outcomes. Or even directly you can find this. See, if you have an event A, then here we have a totally 3 outcomes. So, 3 divided by 6 that also gives you the same answer which is equal to half only. Now, let us uh, take another event related to this experiment getting a number less than 5. See, getting a number less than 5 means uh, here we can have uh, 4 outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have a B event as 1, 2, 3, 4. So, probability of B event is nothing but here totally we have 4 outcomes 4 divided by uh, in the sample space, we have uh, 6 outcomes, 4 by 6, that is uh, 2 by 3. Let us verify that now by adding the probability value of the outcome. As this is the event now, so this we can write by using uh, this particular uh, rule in this way, probability of B, event B is equal to probability of 1 plus probability of 2 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4. Now, let us see the probability of each uh, outcome. Probability of 1. Chance of occurring 1 is here only once, 1 by 6. So, probability of 2 is 1 by 6. Similarly, probability of 3 is 1 by 6. Probability of 4 is also 1 by 6. So, if I add all these things, I get here 4 by 6. That is equal to 2 by 3. So, you can observe here both of these values are equal only. So, by this way, you can find the probability of any event. So, this is about the axiomatic approach related to probability. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, click the bell icon to get regular notification. Thanks for watching.